I think something that drives me is the passion for technology, for like the future. I've always been a fan of sci-fi and cyberpunk movies, like even the game and in general. I want something I make to feel for the viewer like it's the first time they see it. I really try my best to make you feel, okay, this is a movie that never came out, this is a video game that never came out. I, I like that about my works. I also like to let people the freedom of like expressing themselves and to say what they think about my art and how they perceive it and the message that they feel when looking at it. So I like to leave this open for them. Like I start by sketching a bit maybe on paper or like on iPad to get like a very rough idea of what I like to create and then I render it out, the Octane render and I add uh, all the lights, the neons, the fog, the sky and everything else like even the people I try to come up with something new maybe like midway I change something I try to get inspired by something else it takes some time to make my work like usually it takes uh, 15 to 20 days sometimes even one month I like to take care about my details your, your like synth wave neon cities are um, so very enticing, but also at the same time, so conflicted. It's a, a beautiful dynamic that is very impactful and meaningful. Well, I think like uh, some of those pieces are influenced by the fact that we're being quarantined for some months. So I like to express the way like these characters are alone in their apartments, like looking at the window, imagining the outside. I often add a cat because I feel like cats are keeping you company, you know, keeping you uh, closer to you, because like, I just love cats. I often get this sort of message from people like, I would like to live in one of your pieces, I would like to be that girl, like for example the insomnia girl or the cozy morning girl. Sometimes I understand the reason, like, they like the, the beauty of the technology of dystopia. If every resource that you could conceive of was at your fingertips. How would you like people to receive your artworks? Some people enjoy to actually physically visit art galleries and see the work. Some other people enjoy to see art in their uh, electronic devices, be it computer, uh, mobile phones, tablets, and some other people enjoy virtual reality. I wouldn't say what's the best way to see my art, perhaps digitally because like I have a lot of you know like neon play and some colors really uh, stand out the most when seen like through the screen this this one is completely up to a viewer art is obviously a very subjective field with vastly varying opinions for you personally what makes art worth remembering for me is like a, a very niche style, like it has to be recognizable. When I see a piece, I'd like to know who made it. And like, if I know who made it, uh, I think already that that piece stands out and speaks for itself. And I think this applies to many other artists or viewers as well. When they see a piece and they instantly guess who the artist is, and then it eventually turns out to be right. Uh, I think that makes them feel like, okay, they know, they can stand out and their art speaks for themselves. One advice I can give is to experiment and to always leave the, the comfort zone. Start to find the hang of things, basically. You always want to create, experiment and post because you want to get your name out, you want to, to get your art out there and get people to see it. Soon you realize that like making great art, in my personal opinion, takes time. <laughs>